This enclosure is designed for a flock of Venetia's Amazons, a flock of red speckled Amazons, and a flock of Peonus parrots. It has been found that these species live together and they share breeding grounds and can cohabit in an enclosure very well. The wooden path matches the theme of the Atlantic Forest and it provokes visitors to think about how deforestation is unsustainable. The visitors walk into a chopped down rainforest with a sign saying welcome to the Atlantic Forest. This whole area will be self-guided interpretation with multiple signs discussing different things about deforestation in the Atlantic Forest. The Atlantic Forest has lost 90% of its area since European colonisation and this has led to the destruction of important breeding grounds for a lot of its species. The visitors can then walk down a path so they are stood in an empty chopped down rainforest. This won't be aesthetically pleasing but hopefully it will provoke strong emotions so that they can look into how they can prevent this happening. The visitors will then walk up to the main aviary. This will be a mixed species aviary containing Venetius Amazons, Red Spectacle Amazons and the Scaly Head Parrot. This area will have more signs for self-guided interpretation about the species in the enclosure and how they can cohabitate. This enclosure has a lot of trees and plants to present a more naturalistic, pleasing and pretty environment and gives visitors an idea of what it's like in the Atlantic forest where it hasn't been destroyed. This enclosure will have a feeding enrichment area where the visitors can see the birds through one-sided glass so the animals will not be distracted or distressed. There will be food enrichment to encourage the flock to be on show at all times. This will also allow visitors to see wild flock behaviours and foraging behaviours. This will also encourage closeness to the flock. This will also make the visitors feel that they have a higher standard of living and they will be able to observe natural behaviours. Here we have the picnic area near the one sided glass so visitors can view the parrots while they sit down to eat. This area has a view of some hills in the background and there are plants to attract native insects and make it pleasing to look at for visitors. There will be self-guided signs about the native insects and flock feeding in the parrots. Here's a guide so visitors can buy ice cream and then sit down. Then we start to go towards the Parrot Experience Centre. This is where all Keeper Talks will be held and there will also be activities for people to join in on. Learning and gain new knowledge on this topic. Visitors will also be able to handle the parrots and give them treats. This will help them feel closer to the parrots. They will also be able to make toys that they can either then donate to the zoo or take home. So here we have the interactive centre. 
this is a self-guided interpretation it will have a machine with headphones that people can put on their head and then play guess that sound and which species of bird it's coming from it will have cameras in nest boxes so people can watch birds actively hatch and it will include a time lapse of a feather growing on a bird once you leave the parrot experience there is a path on your left and you can take that to go towards the gift shop the gift shop will sell merchandise aimed at all animals in the Atlantic Forest. These can be plushies, magnets, other enclosures.